hours later, they found me lying in front of her hideout. I made it out alive, but not all of us did. Colin's dead, and the stranger I saw is nowhere to be found. I told them about everything. I said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. And Ryan wanted to talk to you. Heat from the plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really... Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? that I care? Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. About that camp. What do you want to know? What work did you do there? Most of the time, I moved bodies for disposal. Sometimes their skin would be peeled off. Oh, it was horrific. Why would machines ever do that? My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the Annihilation Line? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her. But deep down, we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Now sit. Roll over. Fetch. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? 
How about Max? That's a good name. I like that. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turned the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again. Don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. I, I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies' man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Couldn't you look away? Well, there's no escaping it. It lit up the sky, lighting every peak and ridge of the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was a uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a light-hearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. <laughs>